Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime. You may remember our guest bedroom. Welcome to the guest room. <laughs> then I also turned into a craft room. The room kept getting messy because nothing had a home. So I said, you know what? I deserve a craft room of dreams. This video is tons of thrifted, frugal, and dollar store ideas. I am so excited. And this video is sponsored by Lending Tree. He's knowing me down. I love you too. So you may have seen on Instagram, we recently refinanced our house. The rates are so low. Yeah, they're like below 3%. It's wild. It's crazy. And that means we save thousands of dollars over the course of the loan. So it's a great time to do it before they rise. And what's great about Lending Tree is it's a totally free app, free service, and no hit to your credit that allows you to compare lenders. The average Lending Tree refinance saves $60,000. You answer a couple of simple questions, they call so quickly to get started, and you can choose the offer that's best for you. And lots of people choose to do a cash out refi, especially if you're wanting to upgrade a spot of your home. They're such a great sponsor and an awesome tie-in to today's video as I show you our made over craft room using money that we saved. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below the spots of your house you're working on and I will be sure to leave Lending Tree linked in the description. All right, are you guys ready to see the office? Let's do it. Come on in. I'm so excited to show you 10 amazingly easy and frugal organizing tricks you can use in any space too. I first want to start off with what looks like a giant wall of built-ins. They're not. These are actually individual wardrobes that I got for $100. And if you're nosy like me, you're going to want to see the inside. I like to maximize vertical space. And because these are wardrobes, they work really great for closet organizers. This I got for under $10 and I have a bunch of dollar store containers inside for all of my craft supplies. I have my vinyl cutter and I love this standing tower for all of my extra supplies. Next, I'm super excited to share with you these easy dollar store DIY ideas. Take a dollar store paper towel roll and four dollar store napkins and zip tie these together. I saw this go viral on Facebook. Let me know in the comments down below if you know the original creator of this. But this is the best way to store your paints. It is so simple and easy in this cabinet. I wanted really custom modular organization, but done on a serious dime. So I took dollar store over the door hooks, as well as these metal grates from the kitchen section. These are really easy to bend and customize and secure together using zip ties. I thought this would be a great idea to have a visual space to see all of my craft supplies and I can change it out as much as I want to. I also use these garden hooks, this is a do it on a dime original, to hang some of my ribbons using dollar store dowel rods. Sterilite containers are great because they can be put back in in any order for all of my working projects and still look organized. I'm gonna take you down this way and show you inside of my wreath making station. You guys know how much I love making wreaths on my channel. This shoe organizer I repurpose for some of my extra supplies. I have a purse organizer in here that I repurpose for all of my florals and I use S hooks at the top to hang up all of the wreaths. At the top, I have some extra storage as well. I got these containers for less than $5 and I love using my vinyl cutter to label them. And I've got lots of my dollar store DIYs up here that you guys have seen in recent videos. If you're like me and when you craft, things get everywhere. My secret is to work with carts and project bins. That way you can just move this out to your spot that you're working, put it back when you're done. I love getting things second hand. This is our old kitchen table, which I actually thrifted for less than $200. I've got baskets and organizers that are thrifted. This art was thrifted. 
And I knew that I wanted to get a couple of new things to help elevate the space. And one is a new light fixture. Uh, no. Uh, <gasps> no. Uh, paint problem here. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. I have a solution for that. <laughs> We ended up not repainting the ceiling and opted for a ceiling medallion instead. I think it looks really cool. I love cube shelves when organizing, and here are some of my favorite dollar store containers. I like that you don't have to keep track of the lid because I would totally lose that. And I love the shoe containers as well. These are all my craft supplies that I like to keep at the ready. But these containers themselves actually came from the dollar store and I love them too because it's really easy to see what you have. <laughs> I got this little bench over here, which I pulled from another spot of the house. And this is where I keep all of my shipping supplies. This desk is the backdrop to so many of my DIYs. You may recognize it. And it's Carson's old desk that I pulled in here. I love these mini tackle boxes. They're perfect to label for all of your craft supplies. And these mini drawer dividers are great too at a dollar each but I think my favorite trick of the video is taking $1 foam core board and cutting this down to make custom organization. You can create little ledges right inside your drawer and connect these together using hot glue. And I love this is fully customizable based on the items you're storing in your drawer. And over here on these built-ins, I have more dollar store containers and extra craft storage. I love how easy these dollar store bins are to label. I also really love having a giant calendar like this so I can see upcoming projects and put my ideas somewhere else so I can make videos for you guys. I get so many questions about this thing, so I have to show it to you. This is my over the hinge organizer, my secret storage. I keep all of my paint supplies, extra camera gear in here, and baby wipes because it happens. Oh my gosh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this office tour. The Lending Tree app is so easy to use. It only takes about three minutes to find out if refinancing could be right for you. You could be sitting on free money and not even know it. I'll be sure to link it down below. If nobody has told you today, you are enough, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So the room looked great, but the boys and I thought it could use one more little touch. Uh, Catherine wasn't so sure, you know how frugal she is, but we went ahead and we ordered her this. this. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Cool. Here okay. she comes. I'm gonna trip. Yeah. Your nails and your eyes. Oh, oh my goodness! You like it? I love it. Oh, thank you, Daddy.